kind of seen throughout a lot the last two years that low paying jobs is kind of out the door. You get a really well paying job, at least through manufacturing in the US. I think they said the average compensation is 8% higher than the to total private industry in manufacturing. So I think that's definitely a myth easily busted. You know, one of the things I hear a lot just out and about is you know, how people don't want to get into manufacturing. And, uh, you know, I think as long as you have something that people are interested in and you know one of our people who works for us mary does a great job and she's been out to some of the schools and people are just fascinated um, with manufacturing i think just educating people on you know what the opportunities are um you know it, there's so much opportunity that people aren't, aren't aren't realizing out there getting students involved and interested uh, at an early age is important and we've seen a big push to do that uh by the united states government um, by a lot of the different industries that we're involved with um, in the, the foundry space. Uh, but I think it's just, it's edu education, you know, helping them understand that it's not your, your old school black uh, facility where there's a bunch of smut everywhere. And like you said, it's dark and dingy, you can't see anything. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's lighted up facilities that uh, are high technology using robotics, using a lot of the skills that uh, have been developed over the years. Obviously, you're not going to get away from getting a little dirty and sweaty in a manufacturing job. It's always going to come with it, but it also, I think, too, you're seeing kind of more people interested in trade schools. They're not, everyone's realizing college is maybe not the answer for everyone. And so kind of resurgence in trade schools and also just learning again, like the coding where you can use it in the manufacturing setting that a lot of students are being raised to learn. It's kind of like a second um, language to them nowadays. And you're seeing it translated into manufacturing nowadays too. So you can work in manufacturing and still have a good um, livable wage working in the industry.